What's up guys, GT here. So it's always great to catch up with old friends, isn't it? Especially during these times when travel isn't really a thing. And since most of you already know, I am from India and it's been more than a year since I went back home and met my friends and family. However, thanks to the wonders of technology, we are still able to catch up with each other over various video calling platforms. Now, as you all probably already know, I was one of the founding members of a band called Antriksh back in India. And since I moved to Australia, Varun Rajput has been spearheading the initiative and has been doing a fantastic job of churning out new songs, music videos, and even doing online gigs during these challenging times. So when I heard the news of the band's latest single called Quest coming out, which features the incredible Marty Friedman, Yes, you heard it right, Marty Friedman. I just had to jump on a call with Varun and find out how it all happened. Now, I think we all know who Marty Friedman is. The man needs no introduction whatsoever. So if you want to check out the track, the link is going to be in the description box below. So do go ahead and check it out. All right, without any further ado, let's jump into our call and let's catch up with Varun. Hey Varun, thank you so much for joining the call. This is really awesome. Wish we could do this in person, but we are limited by the tools of our trade at the moment. Technology uh, has granted us a call together, which is awesome. So how you been, man? Very well, very well. Thank you for having me on the, the show, GT. It's amazing. I've been watching all your videos and that's some incredible stuff you've been doing there. So uh, great Thanks to catch lot, up. man. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking just yesterday or today, I was thinking about when I saw the news that we're going to talk about later, I was thinking about the earlier days when I think what spent like uh, eight and a half, nine years uh, when me and you and Mridul got together, we sat in your room and we started down writing down riffs, I think, uh, for Dheere Dheere and Asai Hota Hai and stuff like that. I think Na Jaane Kyo as well. Some of those songs which made it to the album, uh, many riffs that did not make it to the album. <laughs> so yeah, I remember it was such a good time. Uh, we used to practice, come up with half a song and then next day, Bridal <laughs> used to send us a finished version. <laughs> and we used to be like, what <laughs> did this guy not sleep? <laughs> But he was he is, he is amazing and, and, and so is everybody else uh, in the band. It was a really good time. So obviously life took us different places. I moved to Australia, Mridul went back to the US. You have still been in India spearheading entire of Antariksh and uh, you're obviously moving forward and forward. So how's your journey been so far? What are the things you've seen uh, along the years? It's been one hell of a journey, man. I mean, there've been lots of ups and downs and uh, yeah, good times, bad times, but uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything else, I guess. Uh, it was it was amazing, you know, the way we started. I remember all those songs that we put out, you know, just jamming and the very first time you came over in 2012, I, you know, I, exchanging ideas. Uh, it was a great start. And I think Dheere Dheere was the song that kind of propelled us uh, to go ahead and write Khoj. So that was that was something, yes. right? You know, you need those starts, and it was amazing uh, to be working with you guys back then. And uh, obviously, over time, uh, the you know configuration and the members have changed. Uh, and uh, but but you know they're they're all uh, you know the positives and negatives of uh, all of those things as well. But it's amazing. It's amazing to be you know kind of still be able to do this and uh, put out music. I'm glad about it. I think that shows because, you know, I think back in the day when I was also there in the band, we used to always, you know, keep struggling to find time. We want to make music videos. We want to record an album. We want to jam. We want to do shows. So many things. We have to do social media. Everything was kind of on us. And whenever now I see a new music video come out from Antriksh, I kind of immediately connect with the amount of hard work that's gone behind it. And I kind of connect the dots. Most people won't because they're seeing the end product, but the the amount of time and effort it has taken to come up with those you know, recent singles that we, I've seen come up. I think you came up with a couple of them last year and there's a new one coming out soon, which we'll talk about shortly. So how's your experience been about those recent singles that you've been putting out and you know, what are they all, all about to be honest? So, you know, the idea has uh, always been to kind of uh, pick up uh, different styles of music and turn them into a song, you know. Uh, so I remember we put out Fana last year in March and uh, I was listening to a lot of uh, uh, Planet Shakers 
uh there's a band out there which has some really good production so we wanted to write like a synth pop uh, kind of a song and uh, that's when the idea of writing fana came in and you know obviously over time with all the iterations uh, it's got that typical antariksh uh, you know signature guitar sound and uh, you know that's how obviously all of the songs evolved but uh, you know the basic idea has always been uh, to kind of pick up on different styles and try and incorporate them in our music with jile zara uh, we wanted to write a song with a huge uh, chorus you know like, almost like anthemic and uh, at the same time fuse it with the dubstep section you know which would work in a rock context so uh, you know those are the starting points of writing songs uh, yeah and uh, obviously you know with the change in members so the everyone brings in a very different thing and also you know you kind of evolve Absolutely. you listening to different kind of music at different points in time and uh, you know you the the kind of production you like the kind of sounds you want on a song keep evolving and that's the beauty of it i guess uh so yeah it's been a it's it's been a yeah, fun I, journey I, yeah yeah i remember i think uh, when we started writing dheere dheere and the first album coach it was more edgy sort of prog rock sort of mm-hmm. a scene that was that that is what we wanted us to be portrayed as uh and i think most people kind of did not get the hang of it because if you talk about that sort of music was not very popular back then i think it's it's completely changed now i think it's vice versa to be honest to be right now i think bollywood has kind of got a lot of hints of rock and mm-hmm. roll happening in there now in fact there are movies being made about rock bands to be honest so yeah i think uh it's important at the same time to kind of uh, you know deliver to the masses as well because you have to understand that not everybody likes the same genre so you have to kind of play around with those different styles as you're talking right. about and it always brings in a good element of surprise for a usual listener of antariksh that there's some bit of change happening which is a good thing obviously so coming talking about recent singles right i want to come to the next question which is you know you're releasing a new track called quest which is having the legendary player marty friedman on it which is absolutely incredible you know back in the day when i was with my first band we used to play songs from megadeth and we used to just imagine that maybe i get to see marty friedman one day but you know you got a song which has a solo and much more from him uh happening so you know how did that entire thing come into play tell us more about it i think it's really a bizarre story right i have you know we've all uh been huge fans of megadeth and marty back in the day in fact i remember you know when i just picked up playing the guitar i used to watch his uh, instructional dvd uh called the melodic guitar and pick up a lot of stuff from it uh you know never would i have ever imagined that you know we'll have marty play on one of our songs so you know as luck would have it uh, in november 2019 we played a festival called the bacardi and it's seven weekender uh, on the day one and day two marty was headlining uh, and you know i was completely blown away when i saw that uh, concert right he's one hell of a player so fierce you know there's so much intent in his playing and seeing him live was just a completely different experience altogether and uh, you know the next day when we were coming back to delhi uh, we realized that you know marty and his band were sitting in the aircraft uh, two rows ahead of us and this flight was delayed by 3 and 1/2 hours we were in the aircraft for 3 and 1/2 hours waiting on the runway to take oh. off and uh, even then you know uh, we didn't have like the i don't know we just didn't go up to them and say hey hey you know i'm a big fan stuff like that because throughout those three and a half hours and the flight time they were all sleeping and obviously you don't want to go and disturb but uh, as you know again as luck would have it uh, we saw them again at the luggage belt while picking up our equipment and uh, that's when i went up to him you know i just had a chat that you know how big a fan uh, how big a fan i've been and you know uh, how his playing has inspired us and then we spoke about some of his uh, recent music and the stuff we did he did with sky harbor and keshav So you know there was this thought going in my head that you know we had this new song quest and I was constantly thinking you know if I could just ask him to play a solo on it it'll be you know probably the most amazing thing ever you know I almost since the last night when I heard him play I'd been imagining Marty playing a solo in that section and uh, I spoke to him about it you know and 
he kind of uh, politely declined mentioning that you know he doesn't do a lot of studio a lot of uh, sessions and uh, it's it's kind of crazy to you know the costs uh, involved when he has to go and hire a studio tech and engineer and all that stuff in japan uh but at the same time you know i spoke with him and i told him like you know i'd love to send you some of our music and uh, it'll be amazing if you could uh just you know give us some feedback and he kind of asked me to write to him obviously i didn't expect him to reply but he did you know i sent him my stuff from koj and kahire and all that stuff uh he took the time to go and listen to almost 5 6 songs and you know wrote back saying that he really liked it it sounded very international british rock kind of stuff to him and uh, that's when i sent him the song and i was like you know i'm sending this to you just in case you like it if you like the song and uh, it'll be amazing if you could play on this and that's when he agreed so uh, yeah i mean like it's amazing right uh, you can't plan such things you can't think of them in advance and uh, there was the section that uh, you know i had been procrastinating playing a solo on uh shrikant had recorded his parts and you know i had to do the solo and uh, now there now there's a joke that goes in the band that you know like i was so lazy that i got marty to play in that section <laughs> so yeah but uh, you know he he's played an amazing uh, like solo there it's really fierce really intense and what i really love about his uh, playing is that you know he's always bordering on this edge it almost feels like uh you know what he's playing it's just about to go out of time just about to go out of pitch but it doesn't right he's a boss uh, when it comes to microtones and he just knows his modes so well yeah and like literally it's an honor to have him play on the song that's 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 an awesome story man i i remember you uh probably have a thing with uh, you know catching bands in airplanes <laughs> because i remember when we went to see pain of salvation back in lucknow i think you caught them in the aircraft again <laughs> so while coming back that's pretty awesome a story man i mean that's kind of a testament to how humble uh, a musician marty is i mean uh, he's done this i mean for me if i were to write to anybody and you know expect them to actually hear my music that's more than enough to be actually to play a solo on one of my songs is going to be incredible so yeah i mean that that experience must have been uh you know must have got goosebumps to be yeah, honest yeah it's it's, it's <laughs> yeah it's just amazing right he's such a like down to earth level headed guy despite being the legend that he is and uh, it's amazing you know the kind of things that can happen if you just reach out you know that's one lesson i uh, learned from this entire episode that you know just like if one is not afraid to go and ask and reach out magic can happen right <laughs> yeah i think that's that's one thing that i really follow as well you know uh, when it comes to my channel as well so if if i feel that there's something that's sounding good to my ears and most of the times i usually end up sharing it with people and sometimes there are you know folks that come up and say that oh, it's not sounding good at all and stuff like that but mostly it's it's i see that people really like it when you share your knowledge with them and i think sharing to be honest in the most cliched way possible sharing is caring in a way so yeah <laughs> i think uh, it goes a long way when you help somebody out and i think it's incredible of marty to even step into that area and help you out it's it's awesome yeah. so i don't know if it's ever going to watch this video but thank you so much marty for doing that that's awesome and everybody you should check out the uh, song it's going to be in the description box below you should definitely go and check out that song it's awesome so you know tell us a little bit more about the song quest you know what's it all about and uh, how did you come up with that word right so you know at the very outset quest is a prog rock song right uh but it's got like multiple layers to it uh you won't believe that the song was written back in 2008 for our first band feedback in which uh, mrithul and i used to play and uh you know it was just lying in the folder of ideas that i had all these years until we went back to it a couple of years ago and uh, we thought you know why not kind of just go back to some heavier uh prog metal stuff and uh, everybody in the band really liked it and that's when we decided to kind of uh Uh, you know compose it again and add new elements to it so as now you know it's it's inspired from a lot of uh, carnatic and hindustani classical music as well there are sections uh there's a sitar solo uh which is kind of you know something that you don't nice. expect out of uh, uh antariksh so to say 
<laughs> and uh, uh, but you know obviously there's you know like prog metal guitar riffs and all that stuff uh thematically you know the song talks about uh, how our human ego makes us believe that we're always in control of all the situations while we're actually not and there are barely uh, you know those little moments when we truly are one with ourselves and in control of what we do and uh, most of the times you know we're just responding to the stimulus all around us uh so yeah typical uh, antarctic introspective lyrics uh and stuff like that <laughs> and and uh, it's it's always been like that yeah, yeah the cool thing is i think uh, this is the first time we're writing song which is in uh, both hindi and english uh and you know the going ahead the idea is also to you know get back to writing stuff in english and uh, we just don't want to keep it limited to uh, hindi rock so yeah that's awesome that's good that's going to be a good blend of i think different so you're going to plan to mix hindi and english songs together as well in the album yes uh, f- so in this second album it's this is the only song which has both hindi and in english lyrics but going forward we're you know more open to just doing english songs as well or you know more of hindi and english and stuff like that awesome so yeah i mean when you were talking about the lyrics it took me back when we used to like lyrics i think antriksh uh, uh, the the band's lyrics have always been about the struggles of inner self and i think coach was all about that yeah. and i remember some of the uh, awesome moments that we used to have together when we used to gig i think a couple of highlights for me would be like you know the album launch gig it was really really awesome that gig was so so awesome and so close to my heart because uh not only we we had a gig but also we had an album to release which is uh to me it's an achievement uh, i think today you can just pretty much record an album at home and release it uh and put it on spotify and everybody will listen to it but back in the day you know getting those cd's printed going to the studio recording the stuff figuring out the tones i think that was that was the experience that uh, was really really worth it and i think the second thing another gig that i really remember is one of those things that we did in the farmhouse i think it was new year's eve i think we were up pretty much all night <laughs> we had free booze and we got sloshed and i think it was a very good, very good gig it was winters it was cold and we had a family there with us my wife was there with me and i think we had our friends so it was pretty pretty awesome really really good uh, experience a lot of other gigs as well i think the india india rock gigs as well that we did uh, back in I think the band had just started at yeah, that point in time so we kind of yeah so talking about those kind of moments what what are some of your favorite moments from the you know earlier days of antriksh yeah difficult to pick one man i think uh, the album launch definitely right it was so special uh, just being able to you know put that album out you know all my parents were there you know your wife was there and we all you know middle's parents were there uh, so it was really really special and uh, Uh, the first album is always special i guess and then i remember we played this gig at i am rotak uh you know yes th- it was just mad mad energy right there and i think there've been a couple more like nsit and stuff like that so yeah i mean um, it's amazing right uh, and i'm you know really missing playing live right now it's almost been a year uh since the pandemic yeah. happened and we haven't uh, been able to play live just can't wait uh and just keep hoping that you know it gets better soon and uh, yeah we're able to go out and play again that's that's awesome because i i, I think that's a problem which every musician is facing right now i think to be able to go out and have some gigs uh i think things are looking up quite a lot in australia here mm-hmm. i think people have started gigging again and hopefully soon it should be all good in india as well so here's wishing you a lot of success in that front as well Thank hopefully you. the gig starts soon and you know it all gets back to normal so in terms of what's coming up from antriksh could you tell us a little bit more about you have any i know you guys have probably a couple of singles planned ahead mm-hmm. and then i think you want to do an album as well right mm-hmm. so uh, we're putting out quest on the 20th of jan uh maybe you'll watch this video and it, it would have been already out so <laughs> i don't know following it up with a very cool animation video in the first week of feb and that's something i'm really excited about i've been wanting to do an animation video for one of our songs since a very long time and we found this amazing uh, visual artist based out of bangalore who's uh, doing a really good job at it so uh yeah that's something i'm really looking forward to that will be followed by another single which is again uh, you know on the heavier side based on again indian carnatic prog riffs 
uh, and eventually you know the idea is to kind of uh, put out an album so uh, we're looking at end of march or early april uh, and you know that's been we're hoping that uh, we're able to put out the second album it's been a long time <laughs> That's awesome. I'm looking forward to it because, yeah, uh, as you said, it's been a long time. I think Koj, after Koj, you've put out a couple of singles, definitely. And I mean, it's it's all, always a good way to kind of incrementally release the album so that people keep hearing your music. So which is a good thing. So are, are you guys recording in the studio or you pretty much recording at home now? You set up a studio for yourself or how, how are you doing it? Yes. So I've set this place up. It's called the Antarik Studios now. and uh, we're doing all the guitar recording bass and all that stuff around here all the programming uh, for the vocals and uh, you know acoustic guitar we still go to quarter note studios and uh, working with gaurav chintavani as usual and so yeah that that's pretty much it the recording is all done actually and uh, we're just in the last stages of fix uh, you know mixing the song and getting the masters done so hopefully march that's and awesome. april you know early april is when we're looking at it That's awesome man that's just around the corner isn't mm-hmm. it it's just a few months away yeah. so definitely good news for 2021 so that's that's awesome so yeah i look forward to the album and uh, wish you all the best uh, for the success for that album and i'm looking forward to quest uh, i i think i'll probably hear it by the time i put this video out so uh, i'm really looking forward to hear what marty has played and i think it will be awesome so all of you guys who are listening if you don't see the smile on my face Here it is. <laughs> this is the smile you probably have when you hear the song as well. So that's awesome. Uh, it's been great talking to you, Varun. I think uh, fantastic to catch up. I wish we could do this in person, as I said, but you know we are kind of stuck where we are at the moment. But it's good we have these uh, you know features to talk over video and at least get to see each other. That's awesome, isn't it? So yeah, wishing you all the best and uh, hope to catch up with you soon man absolutely thank you so much and you know wish you all the best as well you know i haven't spoken about this but you're doing some incredible work out there right i absolutely love every single video of yours the production is amazing and you know the fact that you're putting out such great uh, tones and you know details of how to achieve those tones it's it's amazing man and i just can't Thanks, wait man. to actually check out some of your tones for my ax8 i think recently you've uh, been putting a lot of tones for ax8 as well right yeah so all the presets that i put out definitely can be converted to ax8 as well my i don't have an ax8 so i can't put out presets right. for that but the axfx presets can all be converted right. like you can't convert an axfx2 preset uh sorry I can't convert an xfx3 preset to an xfx2 preset i think there are some limitations mm-hmm. there but i think between ax8 and xfx2 you can pretty much do it all those presets can be converted and the good part is that the way i wanted to do it is not just go on the video and say here's the preset download it i think what i like doing is explaining why i chose some of the things that i did so that even if you don't have the preset available with you you can at least dial it along with me in the video which is pretty much common for every axfx mm-hmm. unit the interface is same uh, except for axfx3 it's got a new thing right. a couple of new things here and there so but i think the basics still remain the same you have an amp you have a cab then you have the other effects chains and everything like that so yeah thank you so much for that i think i really enjoy what i do and it's the motivation i think people's feedback is awesome uh, i really really enjoy reading the comments from people you know all the likes all the feedback that comes through it's really what motivates me to go forward i at this point in time the channel is not yet monetized i really hope to achieve that goal this year hopefully soon and then maybe it will be good to see some monetary aspect coming back to it i don't know how much it's going to be probably not i don't have million subscribers but yeah it'll be something soon, man. to start soon. with too yeah hopefully <laughs> soon thank you so much So yeah I mean thanks for that I mean uh, I'm I'm glad you enjoy the videos because uh, it it takes effort to kind of sit down and record them I'm in a small room my room is not noise free like yours is probably so <laughs> I'm working out of a basic setup here so yeah that's pretty much it uh, anyways I, I I hope I get to travel to India soon I mm-hmm. think travel's going to open up sometime this year I'm hoping so uh with all the things that with all the vaccines and everything coming out let's let's hope to catch up again i think i look forward to play a gig with you again because last time i came we played something together it was a really dusty venue but i remember <laughs> that gig was awesome <laughs> absolutely no thank you and just look forward to meeting you wish you all the you know luck 
with your videos and the stuff that you're doing just keep at it and uh, yeah all the very best cheers man speak to you soon all right, take cheers. care keep rocking man bye bye